Hi, this is Janet with Paper and Spark, and in this bonus video, I'm going to walk you through how to save a little bit of time and energy by copying and pasting your current Etsy listings into your inventory tab. So this will be useful if you just purchase a spreadsheet, you want to get caught up to date, and you've got some stuff for sale already in your Etsy shop, and instead of taking the time to manually type in all those purchases line by line, you can copy and paste from your Etsy CSV file and save yourself just a little bit of time. So let's see how to do that. So to quickly copy and paste or get the information that you need about the vintage items that you already have listed in your shop so that we can dump them into this spreadsheet, we're just going to go to our orders under your Etsy shop dashboard, go to your orders, and then you can scroll all the way down to where you see download a CSV file, click that, and then you're going to see download shop data currently for sale listings and then orders. Ignore this stuff down here. We're just going to click on this download CSV for our currently for sale listings. It's going to download that for you. Just open that file from your downloads folder or wherever it goes on your computer. Okay, so it's going to pop open in your spreadsheet software. If you're using something like Google Sheets, you might have to um, save this file and manually open it. But either way, open it in your spreadsheet software. It's, it's going to look kind of crazy. It's going to have funky formatting and all sorts of weird stuff going on, but that's okay. Let's look at what sort of data it's telling us. It's going to tell us the title of our listings, the description, which is probably going to be lots and lots of text, the price that you have it listed for on Etsy, currency, quantity, tags, materials, and then a link to all your images. It doesn't really give you that much helpful info, but it, it gives us some stuff that can save us a little bit of time. So first, we're going to start by copying the title, the title of all your current listings, we're going to copy and paste that into our inventory and cost of goods sold spreadsheet. So to do that, you just need to click um, row two, cell A, we don't need the title header in row one, we just need to start with our actual items. So click this title in row two, click and then drag. So you're highlighting all the way down. And I went too far. So I'm going to go to the bottom of my thing, bottom of my data, and then I'm going to let go of my mouse click. Then I'm going to right click and copy, or you can do command C or control C if you'd rather use a keyboard shortcut. So now that I've co copied, I've got my little dancing ants marquee highlighted around my copied data. I'm going to go back to my inventory tab on my inventory and cogs spreadsheet and then I'm just going to paste that in. And they're all nice and pretty are every single item that I have listed in my Etsy shop right now. Now, you know, you might want to go through and pretty this up. Maybe it's too much text and what you like, but um, I'm just going to leave it be. It's not going to bother me. Um, so now I'm going to go back to that current listing CSV from Etsy, and I want to copy the price. So you need to be real careful to make sure that you copy the exact same amount of cells. Okay, I'm going to click and drag again all the way down to row 44, um, and then I'm going to right click copy, and then same thing, I'm going to go to my list price, because this is the price that I have it listed for sale at. I'm going to make sure I'm starting with the very first row of data and then I'm going to paste and there's all my sales prices pasted and a good rule of thumb whenever you're copying and pasting multiple columns in, make sure that your data lines up at the end. 
if for some reason I had amounts going all the way down here or I stopped short, then I know that I didn't paste things in correctly. And you want to be careful when you're copying and pasting because you can very easily end up copying the wrong price into the wrong row so that things aren't lined up anymore. So always pay attention and make sure you're doing that correctly. Okay, so now that I've got my current listings copied in here, I can go through and fill in some of the other data. That's what's going to take some legwork, you know, but you can go in. Obviously, I'm not, a, I'm not a vintage seller, so my data is not the best example for this, but um, pretend it's, it's vintage lists, listings right here that makes sense to you, and you can go in and enter your, your purchase price, and it'll... Don't, don't be worried about the data being in your way. It'll go away once there's numbers to go in front of it. So, you know, you, at this point, you might go through your records and, you know, pull your receipts for all your items and enter the data that's missing here. Being able to copy the current listings kind of just gives you a head start into entering the data that you need. Um, now the trick is, you know, you might not want to do a one-time copy and paste. Maybe at the end of the month you want to dump in some more current listings. You do the same thing. You would go back to your Etsy, you would download it, but anytime you look at this, just make sure that you're not copying and pasting something that has already been copied and pasted into here. Your current, um, your current listings CSV from Etsy, it's going to always just tell you what you have currently listed. It's not going to change this file based on, you know, the last time you downloaded it. It's not, there's, there's no way based on the data that you get in it there's no listing date on here. You know, you can't say, oh, I copied and pasted everything on January 31st, and now I just want to know what's new in the month of February and just paste those February items in. There's no way to do that, unfortunately. So my thought is that when you're starting out with this spreadsheet, do your copy and paste data dump for what you've currently got for sale, and then after that point, every time you purchase something, just type it in yourself. You know, just go to the end of your data, type it in yourself, and that way you're good to go. You don't need to worry about using that current listings file again and accidentally copying and pasting something in here twice. Okay?